Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Saturday, Super Saturday, a new moon in Libra. Sending you all so much love. My name's Liz, this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in four decks of cards today because this is a really powerful time. You know, there's been some heavy energy around, especially around the first week of October. You know, October is bought with its ups and downs, highs and lows, because that's the way the scales are. You know, we're operating in Libra season right now and things are being balanced right now. So this new moon is bringing in a time of balance, a time of healing and really a time of reevaluation where we can look at our life and think, is this serving me? Is this working for me? What can I do to make things better? And usually what we need to do is just shine brighter and assess things in a higher way, observe things in a higher way and change the way we look at things. And then the world around us and our life begins to change because the universe will mold and form things to suit our will. We have to give in to will, which means we have to trust in divine timing in the process of our lives and surrender and be flexible and adaptable and become in the energy of flow, which means we go more with the flow and we're trusting more. But we also understand there is a plan. There is a divine plan and what we focus on grows. So put your attention today on balance, harmony and peace and knowing that your dreams are manifesting. So I'm going to bring in today the Twin Flame Animal Oracle. I'm also going to bring in the Halloween Tarot because we're getting closer every day and this is the spooky season. I'm going to bring in the Moonology Manifestation because a new moon is a time of creation in a time of manifestation, and I'm going to bring in the Witch's Wisdom Oracle. So let's see what we need to know. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, today around the Divine Feminines? Wow, look at that one card. And I've got one card sticking out. Amazing. What's the energy around the Divine Masculines today? One card and one card sticking out. And the energy around the journey. Well, these cards are on fire today. I've got one card sticking out and a card that fell on the floor. Look at this for the journey. We've got freedom. Become the master of your mind to become master of your life. True freedom comes from a calm mind. And that's so true. You know, that's what we've been talking about. And the seagull is a master because the seagull can live pretty much anywhere. It can survive on the ocean, on the water. It can thrive in the air because it flies high. It can walk on the land and it can certainly overcome fire because it can fly above it. So the seagull is a real master and a powerful guide. So what's the energy that we are manifesting for the divine feminines? What's this new moon bringing forth for the feminine today? Got three cards coming out. See, four cards trying to make themselves known. Okay, five cards. So I'm taking them. So I'm just going to pop these here. These are for the feminines. The energy around the divine masculines, what's being created for the masculine with this powerful new moon. Jumping out the deck there. We've got one card jumping and one card sticking out here. And the energy around the journey itself. What's the energy around the journey? I love that that seagull card's come out, you know, so powerful. Really does show you what's being created. You know, the freedom of the mind creates freedom in the life. So the energy with the witches, this, this is the witches' wisdom cards. And this is about, you know, things you're learning, creating, doing, things you can manifest to make things happen. And, you know, that's also what this new moon is doing. It's bringing in manifestation power. So the energy around the journey itself, what do we need to be aware of? There's the card there. Wow. And then some tarot to finish it off. An energy around the divine feminines. An energy around the divine masculines, please, angels. An energy around the masculines. And the energy around the connection. Wow, these cards are just really making themselves known today. So let's start today with the journey itself. Because that beautiful freedom card came out. So let me just grab that card there. Freedom. So freedom coming into the connection. Becoming the master of our mind. And we do that through observing and seeing things in a higher way. And the way we become the master of our mind to become the master of our life is to step up and lead. And we do this through taking a reality check. So what I'm really connecting with here is this is a day where we can look at our life. And that's really what this is, a day of reflection, evaluation and reevaluation where we look at our life and think, is this serving me right now? 
Am I helping? Am I getting closer to or further away from my desire and what I want to create in my life by my own thoughts and actions? You know, are you creating stress and anxiety instead of a calm mind? So take a reality check today. And this is also the energy that's going to be lingering around between now and the new year. And that's why I really feel that the holidays this year are going to be really powerful, especially for people in karmic situations, whether that's you or them, because it's going to give them and you the opportunity to look at things in a higher way. So I definitely feel this is a big sign about changes coming in, especially with that full moon energy there as well, completion phase. So I feel you. there's a completion phase taking place between now and the Capricorn season where everything is starting to make sense. And again, we've got a new moon in Capricorn there where we can step up and lead. So I'm definitely feeling some big changes coming in between now and Capricorn season. So if I bring in my divine timing deck, just have a look for that and find it. And divine timing, you know, is always at play in the, in the journey and the connection. I can't find the divine timing deck which I usually can when I need it. Yeah, because everything happens for a reason. If I can't find the deck, I'm not meant to. But the energy of Capricorn, okay, this is an energy of change. An energy of change. So let me just go on to my tablet here and Google it because I just want to know the dates because, you know, with me being a Cancerian and George being an Aries and me not being, you know, a horoscope guru, I know kind of when the date is, but I'm not 100% sure. I usually check in my... Um, you know, usually check in my divine timing um, deck. Well, let's just have a look what the date is. Yeah, it's 22nd of December to the January the 19th. So what I'm really connecting with is between December, the, the winter solstice, the 21st, and the time when the dragon comes in in January, you know, we're experiencing changes. So in the new year, the water rabbit that's lingered around and being around us all bringing in opportunities during 2023 is going to move out of the way for the dragon to enter you know that dragon is going to enter and the dragon is going to be blasting things away creating the way there's going to be so much action and change as we move forward into february onwards so you're going to really start seeing big shifts and changes not just with your twin or in your journey, or in people coming together in union, but in careers, and there's going to be success, there's going to be recovery and health, it's going to be a very powerful, abundant, you know, potent, prosperous year, and they give me that block where blocks are being released, any blocks in communication, in manifestation, these blocks are being removed. So there's going to be lots of realizations taking place during the holidays. And again, this Capricorn energy here is really bringing that message in, you know, the kind of energy over December and January. So breathe through what you're going through because the masculines certainly are going to be looking at their lives. And this is already happening now. You know, this is happening today because the energy has come in today. But they are going to be looking at their lives and really taking a reality check because they're being guided to step up and lead. And they're being guided to step up and lead to become free, to become the master of their mind, which allows them to become the master of their life and take control back to come to you and to be with you and share that time with you and start a life with you and be with you in a permanent union. And that all begins from a calm mind, because when our mind is crazy, you know, when it's it's just overwhelmed with things and it feels crazy, we can't focus. We certainly can't relax and we feel like everything's on top of us. So the first step to bringing in a calm mind is through breath work, by bringing yourself back into the moment, out of the past and out of the future and into the now, where you are free. And I'm definitely feeling this energy as well of, you know, the full moon and the new moon that's coming in in Capricorn. So it feels like the full moon that's coming in around December and January and the energy around the new moons in December and January are going to bring in changes. So you're going to start seeing masculines taking the lead in the connection. And this is because we've got the echoes and they give me the word echo. So this is ethos, but they give me the word echoes because the echo is about how things linger around. You know, we can never forget our twin because they echo in our mind, you know, their thoughts, their words, their actions, it's all there. 
So this is really a message about the law of attraction and manifestation and creation. And it says, live the Wiccan law, we must. And this is really about understanding that what we give out, we get back. It says, imperfect love, imperfect trust. And that's so true. You know, in love, we have to trust. We have to have faith to follow our heart and do things with with glee, you know, to feel excited about life, to be entrusting of the universe, because that's going to bring in the helpful plan. And to not judge our twin or judge the situation or judge the universe. Instead, shine your light bright. So I'm really connecting with this Wiccan read here. You know, this ethos energy, which they're giving me as an echo, as a universal law, because what we do lingers around. So, you know, if you if you speak an echo, it says echo, co, 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 you know, it goes on and on and on. So what we give out, we get back at a later time. It's got an echo. So if you're giving out love and you're being very kind and gentle and loving and generous, you may not receive what you desire back from that today, but you're certainly going to get it back at some point because it's going to echo back to you. So again, there's this message coming through for the feminine here to shine bright because when you're shining your light brightly, this will attract everything to you through the laws of attraction, karma and gratitude. And when you're shining bright, there's nothing more sexy or attractive to the masculine. You know, they are absolutely attracted to your light like a moth to a flame. And fate and destiny are moving things forward and bringing things into place. And you've been shown that by your higher self, by the signs and synchronicities. You're being guided from above. So this is such a huge message. And we've got the number 11 on that card as well. So if you've seen 11, 11, you've been reminded that you were gaining wisdom and insight and power and strength. And, you know, what we take in, we have to digest. So if you've been having any stomach issues or, you know, if you've been having any cramps in your stomach or any kind of vertigo feelings like wooziness, dizziness, it's all about how we process. And I feel the crown chakra and the solar plexus are aligning to understand things the same way. So the energy around the masculine is support. You know, they have the support from heaven. A male presence is lending you their strength. And I feel this is other masculines who've walked the earth before. They're receiving their strength. You know, they've definitely got the strength of Archangel Michael with them today. And they are being guided to not give up. Now, this is also them sending you that polar bear as a sign to keep going. You know, your masculine is saying to you today, please don't give up on me. Please don't you know, let me go, because the masculines are also a little bit afraid that you're going to move on and be with someone who can give you what you desire now, and you know that it's worth the wait, you know, I shared a video on TikTok the other day, and it was about this beautiful energy of not giving up and having faith and trusting, because it will be worth the wait, you know, the masculine saying, please be patient with me, this love is unlike anything I've ever felt before, so keep your eyes on what you want and keep moving forward because you will achieve your dreams in divine timing. So I feel this is a message coming through from the masculine's higher self to say to you, divine feminine, we will be together. Just keep moving forward because the masculine is opening up to change and this is also so powerful. So again, these seasons of later in the year, moving into the new year, we've got Aquarius energy here as well, is when all the changes, the big changes are going to start to take place. So you can already see the bigger picture. You know, the masculines can already see the bigger picture. They can see the plan. And again, this is about reevaluation as we move into December onwards. The masculines becoming the archer, knowing what they want, focusing on this with unwavering faith, being open to change, being ready for it. So the masculines are being guided by their angels to not give up, to not give up on being happy. You know, because what they tend to do is just go with the flow, but they do it in a way where they get dragged into their situation. And it feels like there's no way out for them sometimes. So they are being guided to keep believing and keep trusting and focusing on your light, which you're being guided to shine brighter, divine feminine, through the winter, the watchtower of the north. So this is definitely about them keeping their eyes on their true north, on the north star. And I'm really getting this energy coming through. And I spoke about this in the last few videos, you know, about shining bright and being that lighthouse because we've got the four of pumpkins energy coming through here. So this is the masculine showing you that they are manifesting things, that they are going to let go of things that aren't serving them. 
that they do have something to give to you. You know, I feel he's carrying a letter there. You know, he's carrying that kind of pumpkin there. But I feel he's carrying a letter. He wants to bring something to you. He wants to offer you something real. So Divine Feminines, we've got the Ten of Bats coming in for you. So this is about rebirth. It's about a completion phase, a new beginning, not giving up on what you want. And, you know, you're gaining a higher understanding right now. So you're really learning how to go within for the answers through prayer and meditation. And you're learning how to do this in the silence and the quiet times. You're learning to appreciate that when they are in silence from you, you know, if they, if you're in separation or they're distant, it's an opportunity for you to replenish you, to go within for the answers, to find what you're seeking. And everything that you seek will find you in the stillness, including the connection with your twin, because you are one. You are one. And you're also receiving a higher understanding about service and what service does, you know, when we're giving, when we're operating in our higher self, when we're helping others. When we're operating from our higher self, we'll always be of service to, to ourselves and others. And that bears fruit. It brings in rewards. It brings in abundance. And look at this for powerful. I've got angel bumps. Assess the situation. And this is exactly what I've been connecting with even before I shuffle the deck to assess the situation. This is what this new moon is bringing in today. Look at things in a higher way and trust that all will be well. So again, since the Virgo energy here, you know, since Virgo energy, this is what we've been focusing on, learning to trust that all will be well, affirming everything is already working out for me. Everything is working out for me. I am safe and protected. And then we're able to release any blocks or any fears or struggle through calming our minds. So you can see there she's doing that yoga pose and this is about calm and balance. So what I'm connecting within that card there is balance, balance. And the new moon is bringing in an energy where you can relax about things, relax, allow yourself to feel, you know, the cancer energy is about emotion. The Scorpio energy is breathing through the tension. So I feel everything that you learned earlier in the year is allowing you to breathe through the tension, to be okay with things that may feel concealed or stuck or stagnant because you're realizing it's just a cloak, it's a mask. So you're taking away the burden. So what I'm really connecting it with is cloaking yourself, in other words, shielding yourself and releasing yourself from any stress, knowing that you're protected, but also seeing through the illusions of things that may feel concealed or things that may be hidden away. And also releasing burdens by taking that cloak off and feeling free. So the real energy coming through is freedom today. When we become the master of our mind, we become the master of our life. And we get that through calming our mind because that's where the true freedom is. We can't be stressed out in the power of the now because we are safe there. We are calm there. We are at peace there. It's only when we are going over things in our mind that we start worrying about the future or stressing over the past. And we can't thrive in those types of energies because it creates illusion. And illusion creates fear and fear creates panic and dread. So rise above that today like the seagull. And if you see a seagull today, whether you see one in your real world or you see one in a film or you hear their, you know, their kind of call, this is a big message about becoming free because seagulls are powerful. You know, you might think that, you know, they don't have purpose or you may think other things about them. Or I know certainly people don't really like seagulls, especially, you know, tourists when they're on holiday because they may try and, you know, get the food or, but they are survivors. I love seagulls because they are survivors and they're so pretty. And some of them are so beautiful, you know, they're so unique as well. So this is about your power. So the seagull is a master. So the next time you see one, give it a little bit of respect because not only can it you know, fly high and walk the earth and go in the sea, but it can overcome fire because it can fly above it. And that's what we're being reminded today, to assess things in a new way, to become the master of your life by taking control and realizing you have everything you need in this moment, that you are safe and protected, that you don't need anyone to save you or rescue you or even love you because when you give all that to yourself, you are the master of your mind. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.